How Wody. My name's Autop, and I host Sip and Smash on Twitch. I'm really enjoying producing my stream in OBS, but OBS can get messy. Look at mine, for example. I've got enough scenes to release a feature motion picture. And although my stream looks nice, and it's got tons of functionality, it's difficult to manage everything while I'm live. It's time for an upgrade. It's time for a stream deck. Now I could go buy an Elgato whatever thing with fancy LCD screens, dedicated software, OBS integration, and a nugget warming compartment. Or not. I've tried digital stream deck replacements, but honestly, they don't cut it for me. I much prefer tactile feedback of a physical button. It's like using a mechanical keyboard. You don't need one, but... Let's get into the build. We need some hardware to get started. I got a 20 pack of these push buttons off of Amazon. The beauty of doing your own stream deck is that you get to get creative with the design process. I'm gonna go with a bowling pin sort of triangle layout. The brains of this project is going to be a Trinket M0. It's like a tiny Arduino. It'll be good for the project because it's small and easily programmable. The Trinket M0 can only support up to five inputs, but I want 10 push buttons on my deck so I'm gonna add a priority encoder. This little chip takes 10 inputs and outputs whichever output is active in binary, so it can condense the 10 buttons into four bits of data, which the Trinket M0 can read. Using my 3D modeling software of choice, I've designed a prototype faceplate for the stream deck. I wanna see the push buttons in place, spaced out to know if I really like the design or not. The buttons feel nice, the spacing is good, and the print doesn't flex when I push down, which is good. Okay, I'm happy with the exterior design. Now I need to wire the internals. I've soldered wires to the terminals of each button. Here, I want to test that the buttons are working correctly. Looks like the Trinket M0 registers the button push. Now I'll test the priority encoder. The Trinket should register each button uniquely, and it does, excellent. The circuit has been tested, so now I'm gonna solder it all together. Here's a time-lapse of the time-consuming process of soldering. I'm soldering everything to protoboard. This will make the project more permanent and stable than using a breadboard. Okay, I've soldered everything I can. I'm just gonna check on the 3D print and... Oh, that's not right. Looks like poor bed adhesion. I could redo the print, but it's late and I'd like to finish this project tonight. In all honesty, I'll probably make another stream deck sometime in the future, so I can deal with a little snoot troop. One time lapse later, and it's time for the final test. With the Stream Deck plugged in, I have opened up OBS and mapped the keys to switch scenes. Will it work? Oh heck yeah, it works. So with that, I have a finished Stream Deck. It's uniquely mine, and it adds a personal touch to my desk and to my stream. But what do you think? Do you want to build your own Stream Deck? What would you do differently? If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to incorporate it into my next DIY stream deck build.